Hello friends. So today I want to share with you a short meditation exercise to help you do a number of things. Um, connect to your heart, um, activate a relaxation response to communicate from a place of love, and third, connect to your intuition and your higher mind through the heart. So we're going to work with the heart space. Uh, we talk a lot about the power of the mind all the time. So today I want to talk about the power of the heart mind, which you may not know much about. They're still studying it. There is um, a research institute called the Heart Math Institute that's starting to study the heart mind a lot. And the reason why I call it the heart mind is because through, through the studies, they're starting to see that the heart seems to have almost like a whole mind of its own. So um, through studies, they've actually found that the heart um, tends to receive information before the mind does. And the heart has an electromagnetic field 5,000 times greater than the mind already. So it seems like no surprise that the heart perceives information and that we engage a lot with the heart. Um, it's the reason why some people, if you're really connected to your heart, might feel, uh, you know, feel certain things when you walk into a room or when you meet a certain person. Um, we often say like vibes, but um, that's your heart speaking to you. And, um, and um, so it's also why your presence is so powerful. So um, we really want to connect to the heart here and um, realize that it has a lot of power. It has a mind of its own. And we all know about intuition, right? Coming from this knowing that comes from pattern recognition and memory retrieval. There's also something called non-local intuition. That is a knowing that comes from an unexplained logic, something from the higher mind and that is connected to um, all the energy, the divine energy field of the entire universe, this divine oneness. And so connecting with our heart helps us connect to this non-local intuition that comes from the higher mind, that comes from this unified energy field. So the more that we can connect to the heart, the more that we can connect to our intuition and um, the rest of the universe, the rest of the world. And we also um, activate the relaxation response of our body. So um, this technique that we're going to do um, helps balance the um, heart rate uh, or helps find coherent, bring coherence in the heart rate variability, which helps to balance the autonomic nervous system. You've heard of the sympathetic nervous system, which is what we mostly, this dominates our day-to-day -day lives. We're living in this fight or flight mode that's kind of an anxiety, a nervousness, um, stress response. And we are working through meditation and breathwork practices to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our relaxation response. And we want this to be the dominating nervous system acting throughout our body. So this technique will help balance that, help you in any time, in any time of momentary stress or anxiety, if someone's pissing you off or just really getting on something's really getting on your nerves you can use this um this technique to just come into yourself activate the relaxation response and connect to your heart which will help you to come from a place of love when you go to communicate with this person or when you finally go to respond instead of react to the situation so yeah Einstein says that the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. So I really like that quote and it's a reminder to um, that it's important to be connected to our intuition. Um, it's just as valuable as our logical mind. And this technique will help you to get connected, more connected to your intuition. So just as we always start off with any meditation, just want you to really ground down through your sits bones. Or if you're sitting in a chair, you can just ground through your feet on the floor. Just really start to feel the earth under you, holding you. 
and you reach the crown of your head up toward the heavens, just creating a long spine, tucking the chin in slightly, closing the eyes, softening the eyes, dropping the shoulders away from the neck. And just start to breathe in slowly through the nose, sending the breath down deep into the belly. And then exhaling slowly, releasing the breath. Inhaling again deep into the belly. Just a slow, deep breath, slow, deep exhale out the mouth. Again, following the breath as it comes through the nostrils all the way down deep into the belly, following the breath in this circular motion. So you exhale and you inhale, all the while following your breath. Now you can bring your attention to your heart center. Start to just feel into that, that heart space and the space around your heart. Notice the quality of your heart today. Maybe it's feeling a little bit tight and tense or closed, or maybe it's feeling open and soft. Notice the quality and just let it be whatever it is. Just going to try to soften a little bit around the heart. Create some space around the heart. We're going to activate the heart so it'll feel better by the end of this, no matter what. And you're breathing through the heart now, as if you have nostrils on your heart, as if your nose is coming out of your heart. You're just breathing in and out through that heart space. Still following the breath, but now it's coming through this heart space. Still expanding the belly and the ribs and the clavicle as your breath comes in through the heart space. And then I want you to sincerely think of some experience in your life that brings joy, something that you love, or something that you're grateful for. Sincerely activating a positive feeling here. So I want you to activate this positive feeling, maybe coming from an experience, a memory, or gratitude. You can visualize it in your mind, breathe it in and out of the heart space. Maybe you let that positive feeling bring a smile to your face. Or maybe it's not quite there yet and that's okay. Really try to activate this positive feeling in your heart. And let that positive feeling start to just radiate your heart like gold. Your heart is now glowing with this gold, bright light. Breathing in and out of the heart and your this golden glowing light is shining out through your heart. Shining into every nook and cranny of your body down all the way to your fingertips and your toes and down to every cobwebbed corner of your body into your joints. All the way up through your brain. Breathing that glowing gold every inch of your body. You are now this radiant, gold glowing being. Keeping this positive visual, this positive feeling in your heart, start to radiate that glowing gold energy out through your entire house, 
just feel it fill up your whole house, maybe the other people in it as well, watching their bodies turn to gold glow. And then start to watch this gold glowing energy just shooting out past the walls of your home, just breaking past those barriers of your home, filling up the entire neighborhood with this glowing gold energy. And this energy, this gold glow, it radiates past the neighborhood through your entire city. Maybe it starts to radiate through the entire state and now into the entire country. This gold glow all stemming from you, from your heart, this gold radiant being. And this gold glow starts to envelop the entire world, the entire earth. Glowing gold together, all radiating right down from your heart and soul. Breathing through the heart space, you watch this gold radiant energy pulse like your breath. Sending it out through the whole universe. And just try to maintain that golden light within you as you bring your hands to heart center. And we close our practice. Namaste. So I hope your heart is feeling happier now and maybe you have more peace more relaxation or you can start to um, respond from a place of love and um, become more connected to your intuition thank you so much